Hello. Have you ever had one of those really random days or mornings where everything's kind of connected? Because I just have, and I wanted to come on here and share it with you because it makes a lot of sense um, with how I feel about things like spirit and the spirit world. And you see, my belief is that we are all this intelligent consciousness and it's all connected. Everything's connected. Nature's connected. The stars are connected. You know, one thing, everything is in my mind is as it is meant to be. And, uh, and so I believe that in a sense, reality doesn't exist if you don't exist. So, um, that's, that's the truth of it. But, but for me, what happens when we talk about mediumship and talking to the, uh, afterlife, um, it's about us being part of that collective consciousness. It's about us all being connected and that doesn't die. It's, if you like, it's the mind and every thought and everything is out there and everything's connected. And so when we link to somebody in the spirit world, we're linking in to that essence of their mind and their memories and their thoughts. And it's intelligent as well. And I know it's intelligent because of the times when I've been corrected, when I've got some information wrong. So uh, I know it's not something random just coming from my subconscious. I've been put in my place many times by the spirit. But everything just does seem to be connected, doesn't it? And um, it's been a very weird time for me. Uh, at the beginning of September, it will be a year that I've been home, um, which is wonderful. I love being at home because it's home and I'm with Jackie and um, it's our little haven, if you like. And we've got the donkeys, of course, and the hens and the dogs and all the beautiful rural scenery around us. It's very peaceful. So that's great. But, but it wasn't meant to be like that because I was booked up with work away from home up till 2022, going into 2023 with some work. And it's because of health and uh, many of you know, and if you don't know, um, I'm not going to go into everything because it would be incredibly boring. But basically, there's something neuromuscular happening, and the name is elusive at the moment, uh, and various other things. I don't have good lungs either, but that's enough because otherwise, I just end up talking about my illnesses and stuff like that. But, but. But there is one important part to that, and that is that I find it very hard to walk, and I am finding that that's getting worse. My legs are getting weaker, my balance and coordination is getting worse. So uh, coming on here and doing these videos is great, apart from my speech gets a bit affected at times. Uh, because I can sit on a nice comfy chair, and you would never know any different. Um, but I have this thing and I was telling my doctor about it recently and this is all part of the randoms that I'm talking about that happened today. But recently I was talking to my doctor and she was asking me how I feel and I said, I, I actually don't know in the morning when I sit on the edge of the bed whether I'm, this is the day when I stop being able to walk. And I have that queen song going through my head you know the find me somebody to love and and what's going through my head is uh the the line that says um each morning I wake up I die a little now that sounds very dramatic and then it says can be can't barely stand on my feet and that sounds very overdramatic, but it, it's kind of like my own little sick sense of humor to myself where I just sort of sing it in my head and then see, ah, oh, yeah, I can still walk. I can cling onto the radiator and ping off a few walls. 
but I can actually walk the legs work. So um, that was happening very recently, only a few days ago. And then this, I don't know, it would have been maybe about midday-ish. There was a call from a friend, a video call through Facebook Messenger from a friend. And I just missed it, but we managed, I managed to get back to the computer and we finally connected. And it, it wasn't a great connection from the Wi-Fi point of view, but it was really interesting because she was with a friend. And this friend uh, doesn't know me personally. And they decided to go for a walk in these beautiful gardens and sit and have some quiet time meditating and as this friend was meditating she had this kind of journey this kind of spiritual journey where um various things happened but one of them was showing me in a different light where i was unable to walk and not in the future but sort of in the past like a representation almost like a kind of past life type thing, which I, I, I don't really understand and it's not my thing and I don't disbelieve it or anything like that. I think there's lots of explanations, but, um, but it was that kind of experience she was ha having and that was her experience, so that's, that's the truth of it. So this was quite significant, but it also showed to her in this meditative mind journey experience she was being shown me looking at herbs and plants and wildflowers and plants and um, from a nutritional point of view from a healing point of view and and that is where one of the randoms come in because that's what i've been doing a lot of lately and um we've been cooking and juicing and blending and living from the vegetable garden and the fruits and it's been very important because I have this intuition that, um, okay, modern medicine's great and I probably wouldn't be alive without it, uh, but something's not clicking into place. And the best I can do, because and while we wait for the system to catch up, um, is I can focus on my nutrition but not from the point of view of i'm just going to eat healthy but my mind is geared if you like to every cell in my body has to receive uh the maximum amount of nutrients they must be fresh um for example vegetables and fruits must be picked and eaten before the sugars have turned to starch and all that kind of thing they must be at their peak at their optimum from the plant uh, and if every cell is fed correctly, it has the opportunity to be as healthy as possible. And that in turn will, you know, you blah, de blah, you, you get the picture. So, that, so there's that kind of randomness. So she has this meditation, doesn't know me, and this is what we've been doing. And you, Oh, yeah, a bit of coincidence. No problem. Well, yeah, okay, you might think that that's fine. Um, so then... This morning I'm making soup and one o'clock Jackie and I sat down to eat this homemade soup made from all the herbs and vegetables and everything just as I've been describing and at that moment the A-L-E-X-A the other end of the house starts playing randomly some music. Now, we weren't even speaking, so you know how sometimes these artificial intelligence things pick up something that's being said or on the TV. Um, there was nothing. We were The soup was really hot and we were blowing on it. And, um, so then on comes some music. And the music was a particular song that was played at my brother's funeral in March and is very relevant um, to us as a family and to his life, as well as it was a funeral song. 
And Jackie and I looked at each other and said, oh, you know, <laughs> it's your brother, isn't it? Well, she said to me, it's your brother, isn't it? I said, well, it's a, it's a strange thing that's happened. How did that come on? How did that happen? And we're thinking, no, it doesn't seem to relate to any anniversaries at the moment. So that's that. The next song that comes on, and this isn't a radio station, this is a playlist from somewhere. The next song that comes on is deeply relevant to him and his family. And the next and the next, and they're all from the era and his favorite music or songs that were at his funeral or ones that were shared and were very relevant. And there was so much intelligence behind the ones that were chosen. Um, at one point, the Eagles Hotel California came on, and that's very relevant uh, in lots of ways and has an intelligence because it links to another family member who um, has a strong association with the Eagles. So, uh, all this was happening, and we were like gobsmacked, really, really gobsmacked. And it showed the intelligence. And I was really pleased about it. I mean, Jackie was worried, would I be upset? But I was actually really pleased. And I, and I kind of liked this randomness. And then, which is really strange, and I'll show you it in a moment in this video, is I uh, was, you see, I've decided to do this soup with all the herbs and fresh ingredients cooked straight away and bulk it and freeze and i was looking for lots of containers to do this so i'll do a massive stock pot in a massive stew pot full of soup and freeze it then we won't have to worry and we'd always have some or we'd have some for a long time anyway so i'm looking around and you know you get those soup cartons from the shop that you could just they're in a plastic oval container i'll show a little bit of one in a minute and uh you just you know break the seal lift the lid off and you put it in the microwave for for four and a half minutes or something well we had some of those and i picked them up and i looked at them and i thought oh why not just put them in soup containers? That must be a good idea. And as I picked it up, these soup containers have been cleaned. They've been hand washed in warm soapy water. They'd been rinsed out um, with cold water and they were dry. I noticed these tiny little bits on the bottom of the containers. And I thought, what's that? And as I sort of scraped around the container, it was almost like um, clear, desiccated coconut. And it was bits of plastic. And the weird thing was, I had a dream last night, and it was all about how plastic is poisoning us. And it was about ingesting plastic. And how my, we must do everything to avoid ingesting plastic because we were all ingesting plastic now that that was and you know here we go with the randoms again i'm being very random here but then suddenly this container and then i'm thinking oh my god i'm supposed to be getting healthy and i'm nearly poisoning myself with plastic because if i'd have poured the soup in there to freeze without looking i'd have never known so um you know you can see from the little video that i've added the plastic now, we don't often buy soup, but it's quite handy, isn't it? If, if you haven't taken out the freezer or if you haven't made any um, or if you need something quick on the way home or whatever. So um, occasionally we have done and I'm questioning it now because, quite frankly, the plastic in those containers was not stable. Now, I'm sure the manufacturers would say, it was fine and I probably heated it too long or too high which is rubbish because I always heat it 30 seconds less than they say so it's not too hot but um so then it got me thinking about there's the cartons as well aren't there those waxed cartons where you get the artisan soups in and occasionally we pick up some of them 
and we light them. Then I thought, well, they're lined with wax. And what's happening with wax when you heat it? You zap it in the microwave as you're melting the wax lining into what you're ingesting. So um, I'm sure all these manufacturers would say this is harmless and it's food grade stuff, but it's not stuff you bought into buying, is it? You didn't buy into consuming little flakes of plastic. You didn't buy into consuming melted wax, if that's what happens. So anyway, this is all pretty random, but everything's leading into it, isn't it? Is there's the lady with my friend who doesn't know me having this dream that's very significant. Um, to my health, there's all the songs that are relevant to my brother. And then I'm having this dream about the plastic. And then there we go. We've got the dodgy plastic. And I think what's happening, you know, a lot of people will call it different things. You'll call it synchronicities. You'll think it's the spirit world doing it. But I just think it's, it's a joining up of the dots. And that's what spiritual work is, is joining up the dots, joining up the dots of your life and your love and your compassion and joining up the dots um, and connecting to those dots of those who lived in this world physically before, but their consciousness has survived and is still intelligent. And so there we go. Lots of randoms today. And one of the songs on that spooky playlist that just booted up the other side of the house without us speaking and asking it to was Queen find me somebody to love i've got someone to love i love you i love loads of people but anyway um each morning i get up i die a little can't barely stand on my feet um that was just one and the song that came after that was the very last song that his best friend played at the um the wake uh they were all in bands you see so there was some live music and uh yeah so it's kind of nice to know it's all connected. We're all connected. Our loved ones are connected. Obviously, it's different and we miss them like crazy. But also that our thoughts are connected. This friend who was having this experience was in a garden, in some public gardens in another country. So this wasn't someone who was very close by and we'd just been talking. And then I'm having dreams about, you know, don't ingest plastic and then discover that the, the soup carton I want to use is um, pretty dodgy. So there you go. Um, lots of randoms. Everything's connected, uh, which means, you know, you can't get away from anyone really. Um, but I hope you're having a great day and um, look out for all those little connectednesses. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.